Capcom voice actor Ruben Langdon confirms Newsweek hit piece led to his Street Fighter recasting. Says he's still attached to the Devil May Cry franchise because the series director, quote, saw what a bunch of BS it was. This story comes to us from Spencer Bakuli over at Bounding Into Comics. Today, we've got some intriguing updates about voice actor Ruben Langdon and his recent clarification on the rumors surrounding his departure from Capcom. Before we dive in, though, let's quickly recap the situation. After months of speculation about Ruben Langdon's absence from the recent Capcom projects, including Street Fighter, fans were left wondering if his personal opinions led him to being labeled person non grata by the Japanese developer. Langdon, known for voicing characters like Ken Masters and Dante, recently hosted a Twitter space discussion to shed light on the matter. The speculation began in 2021 when the Devil May Cry Peak, Com Peak of Combat mobile game was released with a different actor in Langdon's role. Langdon addresses the root cause of the issue, pointing to a Newsweek article that painted him as a right-wing extremist and conspiracy theorist. The, this article stemmed from an interview in which he discussed topics like the corruption and the Black Lives Matter and Me Too movements. In his Twitter space discussion, Langdon walks us through the events leading up to his departure. He emphasizes that the interview was taken out of context, with Newsweek distorting his words. Despite offering to clarify his views, Cap Capcom, particularly Street Fighter series producer Yoshinori Ono, allegedly didn't seek his side of the story and made the decision to let Ruben go. Langdon details how Ono-san reacted to the Newsweek article without verifying the context, resulting in the termination of his role as Ken Masters in the Street Fighter series. Efforts to arrange a meeting to explain the situation were unsuccessful, leaving Langdon without a chance to address the misunderstanding whatsoever. The voice actor then reassures fans that his departure from Street Fighter did not affect his role as Dante in the Devil May Cry series. He explains that the Devil May Cry team, including director Hideki Itsono, looked into the situation and validated that Langdon's comments were not offensive nor extreme as portrayed in the Newsweek article. Addressing his absence from the Devil May Cry peak of combat video uh, mobile game, rather, Langdon clarifies it was not due to his beliefs or views. Instead, he attributes it to budgetary constraints on the part of the developer Nebula Joy, a Chinese-based company. Langdon emphasizes that this was a financial issue and not a result of any fallout with Capcom. So that's right, guys. You don't have to worry about Dante going away. At least as far as budget's concerned, you might get squeezed. But looks like Ruben's going to continue to be the voice of Dante going forward. At least as far as his Capcom stuff goes, it's not booting him out of this franchise. In conclusion, Ruben Langdon's recent revelations provide a clearer picture on the events surrounding his departure from Capcom. It appears that misinformation and the lack of communication played a huge role in the entire ordeal. We'll keep an eye on any further developments and updates from Capcom, as they've not released any statements about this whatsoever so far. At the time of this recording, there has been no official statement on why Ruben was let go or if there's any uh, effort to bring him back. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, though, and share this out because more people need to know that this guy got let go for just opening up about his opinions. This is exactly what we're seeing with the woke journalism going around the world right now. It's not just here in the U.S., but these, these actors being written off and sent off into no man's land because of having their own personal opinions that don't affect the characters that they play at all. You're not going to hear Dante start spouting off Make America Great Again, unless it's going to be a joke for the, for the video game, but I don't know. I think the developers are a little, uh, I don't know, a little more wise than to, like, mire their work in the, uh, in the political realm, if you will. So uh, we'll catch you in the next one, and hopefully we'll have more updates about this. Maybe Ruben's going to start his own game development company. Wouldn't that be cool?